So welcome back to our YouTube channel. This week, we had some time off work because of the holidays, so we decided to tackle our biggest project yet. And let me tell you, this was overwhelming. I cried multiple times. Cam is a trooper, he is fearless, and you'll see that in the time lapses. But we were able to get our foyer painted, which we hired out, we had someone professionally do it because it has 18 foot ceilings and it just seemed like too much. So they painted the ceiling and the walls. And shortly after that, we rented a 12 foot scaffold so that we could get this medallion on the ceiling and replace the chandelier. While we were up there, we also replaced the trim on the front window to white trim. And that was enough for this project. Instead of loving her to me. Guys, it's almost done. Tears were shed, but it's time to start disassembling this friggin' scaffolding and finish off this light for good. We never want to look at this room ever again. So now we're up on the second floor and you can see easier the medallion, the light fixture, and the window trim. To talk in some more detail first about what we put up, we purchased uh, an Akina medallion. It's foam, so it's very light. We affix it to the ceiling using liquid nails and a couple of brad nails. Not as easy as it looked the first time it fell off. Cam had to try again. He was not enjoying this part of the process, but it's up there now, it's solid. We use the Ashley chandelier from Mitzi Lighting, and we just love the translucent globes. We think it looks really elegant, and the contrast of the new and old, that's our look, we love it. And then around the window, we replace the trim with some three and a half inch, just typical colonial trim from Home Depot, and we painted it white so that it will match the rest of the windows in the house. And to talk a little bit more about the scaffolding process, so we rented the scaffolding from a local place called Rental Max. We were dreading this project. And when I say we, I mean Cam mostly because he has to do a lot of the work on this project himself. I'm surprised we were even able to get the scaffolding put together because it is very, the pieces are very heavy. They're all metal, steel. And once we got the scaffolding up to the top, it became even more difficult because Cam had to be on the platform and I had to lift the pieces up to him. As you can tell, I'm not very strong. I don't have a lot of muscle. The adrenaline was flowing because I wanted to get Cam down from the scaffold as soon as physically possible. And actually I was originally supposed to be up there helping him, but I chickened out. Once the first platform got on, I was too scared. I was already crying. I wanted to abort this mission and hire someone professional, but we were already committed and had the scaffold half built. So it was like, we just have to finish what we're working on. So as we got the fixture up, we mounted it once, realized 
it wasn't the height that we wanted it to be. So Cam had to take it down again. We made the extension longer and had to put it up again. And that was a whole ordeal in itself. And then once we started putting the globes on, you can see in the time lapse that we had to take the safety rails off the top so that we weren't going to bash our brand new chandelier from Mitzi. And that made me really nervous because Cam was then up working on the 12 foot platform with no safety rails. So as soon as Cam was done with all of this and got down, I immediately started crying because I was just relieved that no one was hurt and we got the job done. It took us, honestly, it took us like a day. So quicker than we, I, quicker than I thought it would be, honestly. We, we originally rented the scaffolding for a day. It took us like 26 hours total. So we had to extend our rental, no big deal. But now it's done and we never have to look at this room think about working on a project in it ever again, because we keep joking that forever, how long we live here, this chandelier and medallion are never coming down. So we're really happy with our choice and we're excited about how it turned out. And it's kind of like the first thing in our house that has our style. So it's just really refreshing to see like a little bit of progress because a lot of days we're like very overwhelmed by how much work we're gonna have to do in this house and how long it's gonna take us because we do have full-time jobs. But anyways, we hope you enjoyed this video today. Please keep following along for, for more progress. We're gonna have continue dropping videos. And as always, if you wanna see more things and more detail, you can follow us on Instagram. We provide weekly updates on our progress. So thanks.